Oh yeah, come on, it's time for lug nut. Let's go. Let's do this. Time for a proper review, not about a potato. God almighty. Anyway, it's lug nut. He's awesome. Buy him. Well, I don't, I don't really need to tell you to do that, do I? Um, here he is. Nice big robot. Really is beefy. Beef, 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 and a whole side of beef. Um, probably the beefiest figure in the 2010 line, to my knowledge. Um, might as well say beef again. Beef, beef, beef. Um, despite the fact that I was originally put off this figure, whatever, and I was just saying, oh, look at it, oh my god, I've got to buy this. I was sitting there thinking, it's horrible, that's not lug nut, it's really lanky and long, skinny, thin arms, thin legs, thin waist um, but then I saw this figure and I was like I have to have it, I don't care what I said before um, right, before we get down to the man himself let's take a look at the box here's the back of it, in the picture bomber plane mode reveal the shield launching missile and the picture that put me off when I first saw it. On the side, it's got the bio here, some nice art. Which I've actually taken a picture of this time so you can read it. Um, but I'll read it out to you anyway. Because uh, I like to put on some silly voices. Um, first of all with the three lines of English. Lugnut is a deadly opponent to the Autobots with its limitless missile supply. And now, in French. Lugnut est un adversaire mortel des Autobots et d'autres des réserves illimitées en missile. Now, in German. Mit seinem entlossen bestanden Consortium ist Lugnut in gefährlicher Widersacher der Autobots. Now, in Spanish. Lugnut est un mortel adversario de los Autobots con su interminable suministro de missiles. Um, a little dose of European for the day, I suppose. Um, front of the box, more nice art. Side of the box, also look for Solar Storm Grapple, the living spelling mistake. And launching missile. There's nothing happening there. Um, anyway, there's the box. We're not there here to look at that, we're here to look at this. Lugnut himself, the big bad boy. Um, I suppose I might as well do a size comparison. Here's a potato, here's Lugnut. He's bigger than a potato, thereby he's big. Um, articulation, right, ratchet shoulders. Arms actually bend here, like that, not in here, at the turbine, which baffled me a bit when I first opened it. I thought, why aren't the arms moving? And he did that. Um, elbows, fingers, yes, look at that. Fingers. He can pick his nose if he had a nose. Um, talking of facial features, we got opening mouth here. Ra ra ra. Uh, I might as well show you what goes on with the arms now. Punching attack. Oh yes. Push this little purple lever back here. Ever so slightly though. It's pretty sensitive. And uh, kapow! Punch your kid everything. Um, legs, pretty standard. Do do do. Up, down, zap, zap, round and round at the knee. At the moment I've got the knees a bit compressed. Um, you can sort of have them out like that. Makes it a bit taller, makes it a bit more articulate. Put the knees all around like that. He's got ankles, toes. Yeah, it's one proper bad boy. Uh, as for other features, uh, these bits up here, uh, that there, yes, they are clip-on points. Um, you can literally litter this figure with them. Um, I mean, I'd show you, but it takes long to put them all on, and I haven't actually got enough to sort of fully complement the figure. Um, but I've taken a picture of that anyway, so uh, I'll show you it now. Um, I've got a few sitting here clip on weapons uh it's breaches gun probably the best one just show you yeah stick it on there 
He's slightly more menacing. Um, but yeah, that's about it for robot mode. <laughs> Uh, right, more robot mode features, I suppose. Uh, out the back. Lift it up, flip it round, pull this over. You've got a missile launcher there. So, uh, you stood up, it sort of comes out his back, but it makes his back come out way further. Um, this is probably one of the things on this figure, that's probably the only thing on this figure that really, I don't know, it doesn't really float my boat, you don't really need it, um, it's just some huge missile launcher on his back, that fires That took a while. Uh, I found the missile. Um, ah, put it back in here, stupidly. Let's take a look. Um, it is so generic. It's not even, it's not even sculpted to be anything. Just plain red plastic, not translucent. It's not a fireball. It's not an actual missile. It's just round at the top, squared off. You know, clip down there. Just, just goes in and shoots. That's just. It don't do nothing. Um, but yeah, it, it, that whole whole missile launch thing should be incorporated so much better. This needs to be a mace, not some really ungainly launcher that just looks like it's been chucked in because they thought, oh, quick, it's like nut. We've written on his bio, he has lots of missiles. We need to put a missile in there. Um, but yeah, talking of missiles, um, just going to expose some details here. If you look in there, uh, you won't be able to see in these purple bits that come out when the, the arms come out. There's like rocket pod details. So there's ones in there, ones up here, on the top, on the backs of his legs. It's <laughs> it's literally covered in missiles. This figure, which is so spot on for the character. Um, but enough about robot mode. Let's get down to transforming it. Probably gonna need to zoom out a bit for this. It gets a bit big. Start with the arms. Crank them up. Straighten them out. Flip these panels over. Put around the arms. And what you just heard was the punch attack coming loose. Like it does so regularly. The smallest iota of movement. So flip the things around. Put that up. You've got one wing. Same on the other side. Oh, yep, look. Clip on point there. Exposed. Um, there's more clip-on points in this in vehicle mode than there are robot mode, um, which I suppose I, don't know, I suppose that's a good thing. Uh, cause there's two more under here as well. One, two. Um, we've got the rub sign up here. I'm not even going to bother rubbing it now because I managed to get it going and just barely took a picture of it. Um, it's never warm enough in this room to activate a rub sign. Don't be silly. Put out the back. Uh, now, well, you can see just how big that wingspan is. I have to put it all the way up there to fit it all on the screen. He's a big one. Fold up these toes. Sat down. Same on this foot. Uh, you're going to do some hip reformation around here. So you crank it up round and then round again at the thigh. Um, and then they connect together just down here there's a little notch uh, sorry if I was doing most of that off the screen <laughs> whoopsie um, pull out uh, the chest here come on uh, so it's sort of down an angle like that and you can pull the rubbery halves of the cockpit together that over once you've realigned the whole shoulder assembly. Ah, uh, come on. Just stay where you are. And these rubbery translucent halves, they're a bit of a pain in the neck because mine are a bit sort of bent. They don't line up properly up here, you see. Um, but 
up, they should stay there once it's all in place. Crank this back bit out as far as it'll go. Uh, get that stuck in there. There's the cockpit, lovely shark tooth decals there. That really does sell it for me. I love planes with you know, these personalised stuff. And what little paint apps there are on this figure, they just set it off really well. Teeth, these bits around the turbines are actually sort of glittery green, now shining. The lug nut. Um, same on his tail fin. But anyway, let's get this finished. Uh, these legs in the right place. If they want to. Up round. <sighs> Tap those in properly. And there you have it. Local mode. Beauty of a bomber. Um one thing, the little thing. I'll just point out, I really do like these bits which were the back of his legs. It's like some sort of bomb rack going here, so you can imagine they're not ready to fall out the back. Some kind of carpet bombing. Um, round back further you've got this sort of gun emplacement, which covers up the missile launcher, which you can fold down. <laughs> it's a plane, Willy. <laughs> um, but this really gives you an idea of the size of this plane. I mean, if it's real, I mean, for a guy to be able to fit in here somewhere to fire these guns, it's got to be a beast. Um, these guns in the front move up and down as well. Sadly, they're all rubbery like the rest of the cockpit. Um, translucent. Just get like that. It's, he's the best. Really is. Um, I wasn't sold on Animator when it first came round. The styles. I'd, I'd looked at the toys and thought, no, I'd never even seen any of the cartoon until last summer, no, summer before that, and when I watched those episodes I just thought, what have I missed out on? There is so much good stuff in this show, and I've let all the figures slip through my fingers. Um, but to be honest, I wouldn't buy animated like that, because he's meant to be tiny and this thing is huge, you know, you always got to go for size every time. <laughs> I remember that ladies and it, this is just it, it looks so much better I really do prefer a realistic style of the animated stuff they just I like the detail and they just don't pack it at all it's too many just plain flat surfaces um, you couldn't fit more detail on this if you tried you really couldn't um, I suppose really you should sort of live with my Avengers 4 and lockdown as being one of the animated characters that I never got in animated but I don't know I've seen it described as movie like that um, such as I know Cybertron.com's gallery listing um, but this isn't a movie figure it's, it's, it's G1 like that it's classically styled there are no crazy armour shifted panels and all that stuff if anything there are classic figures which are blatantly G1 Perceptor Straxus look at some of the details on them they're sort of movie find Perceptor's legs Straxus is midrift no this is 100% classic um, apart from maybe the fingers and toes they're a bit unorthodox but what are you going to do that's what he looks like you really can't do better than this figure this year I mean I, I know what I'm saying Dark of the Moon's coming out you know you've got a shockwave coming but this uh, this sums up the 2010 line for me. Sort of ambiguous homages, you know, or homage that are just sort of out of place, but will fit in everyone's collection. This is just it's perfect, really is.